In this video, we'll see how to set up customer charge codes and then how to create charge groups. First of all, we'll set up a charge code for the sales ledger, which might be account receivable, depending on your version of Dynamics. We'll go to charges setup, charges code, and we'll create a new charges code, which will be for transportation. So we'll enter trans here and transportation fee. We can select an item VAT or sales tax group if required. For posting, we're going to specify this to be paid by the customer. So under debit type, we'll add or we'll select customer supplier. For credit type, it will be leisure account. And this will be posted as order freight. So we'll select that. And for the account, this will be the main account for revenue from invoice charges. or will just select the first one. And here we have two options relating to the European Intrastat system. Now we'll set up a customer charge group. So charges can be automatically applied to customers in that group. We'll go back to the sales ledger, customer charge groups, and we'll create a new customer charge group. Here we'll put a unique code, can be alphanumerical, and the description, it will be freight 10%, and we'll save that. In the same way, we can create charge groups for delivery charges and for item charges. Now we've set up a charge group, let's create an auto charge to apply to that group. Auto charges are applied automatically when a sales order is created. So we'll go to charges set up auto charges and create a new auto charge. For level, we are going to apply the auto charge to the header. The account code can be table for a specified customer, a customer group or all. So we created a customer group, we'll ch choose that and select the group we created a moment ago. Item code would be available for the line level. For delivery code, we didn't create a group, but we will use a predefined one. And we'll save this. And now we can define the charges to use in the lines fast tab. The charges code We'll select the code we created previously, which was trans. The category for the charge can be a fixed amount or per unit, percent or proportional, or we can use external calculated by a third party. The charges value would be for the fixed amounts and the charges currency we can specify a different currency than the one used to calculate the charge. The from and to amounts fields we can define a starting and ending amount of the total order to which to apply auto charges as well as tiered charges and we will select keep if we want to apply the charge every time we create a new invoice.